mod here and I'm gonna do a tutorial um, and it's this is what it's gonna be not exactly the same words but basically the same so we'll just play it as you can see this smashes and makes a new word and then see other pieces are springing together if you look Oh, just <coughs> right. So, <coughs> open Cinema 4D, render settings, put on my freezer, and actually, I'm going to make it 1080p. So, first off, you want to make one, um, well, two more texts, but just one for now. And then I'm just gonna put my dual mod depth 60, or you know, just customize this to your liking. Use my usual font, get a nice angle. So now, um, bump up the subdivision a little bit. I like to have it full, you know, caps. Fill it there. Fill it there. <coughs> Ten. Oh crap. That's definitely not right. What the hell? That, I don't understand that. I'll just put 10. Right, there we go. Half circle. So, just, you know, basic text. So then, you wanna hold control, drag it down, so that makes another one. So now you wanna, <coughs> on the second one you made, put different text. So I'm gonna put, um oh shit tutorial and what you wanna do is you wanna hmm How about this? Just right. So you want to leave that, and then you want to make some materials. So I will have a orangey. Oops. I'll just make an orangey text. Copy channel. Luminance. Paste channel. So then, <coughs> don't really need any reflection. I'll just add some in. Give it that realistic look. Not much, just a little bit. So I'm just gonna make two materials. I'll have a bluey, purpley one. There we go. So then you want to put them on the text. I'll have purple outside, orange inside. And then just switch them around. Render that, you know, pretty shit. 
so <coughs> what I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna add um um one of CS tools daylight is minimize the settings a bit see what I get oh no, I just have oh, I need to make a floor down on just write this a little bit like I'll do it after right so you don't particularly need a floor it's better without one to be honest so you're not going to use any rigid body or anything like that so once you've got that done you want to highlight both and just click click this over here or you can just click C on your keyboard and then right click select children C again and then on one of them select children and then connect and delete so then it becomes editable delete all the tags apart from the materials same again select children connect and delete before you do this make sure that you've got everything ready because you will not be able to change anything so i'm just going to rename this name and then this tut so they've got our text and which one's which so now you want to highlight both and then loads of pl plugins, Frousey and Frousey. If you haven't got this, I'll have it in the description. <coughs> and you wanna have 20, 20 to 30 pieces. I'll have, I'll have 20, just because it'll be quick. And I will pause and come back when it's done. It takes about a minute, a few minutes. It depends on how fast your computer is. So, I'll be right so now it's done its thing so um what you want to do is you want to um you don't need frosty anymore x that and all of these see there's that name and then tot so i'll get the name and go into mograph fracture object and then hold all as you click on it or not supposed to put it underneath that but it didn't work so I'm gonna do that and then do the same again so then um go on to one and click right click and click delete without children there it is delete without children no I didn't do that right sorry um you want to select all the pieces inside it so then click on the first one hold shift and then click on that one without this click so this m must not be right for you to do it and then oh, right click delete without children now as you can see loads of different pieces which is every single individual piece if I just click on one as you can see it's there that's a lot of pieces. So then, I'm going to do the same for this. Right click, delete without children. And there you go, all the pieces again. So, so what you don't want to do is by holding, no, hold one and then go to um, Mograph, Selector, and then Plane, and then hold another one, Mograph, Selector, and Plane. So now as you can see they've all moved off the ground, so just want to hold both of the planes and click Alt-G, and then just rename this to Effectors. And then select the two plane effectors and go to 
Um, where is it? Here it is. Then it's put this to zero. And then still with these two selected, you want to go to scale. Uniform scale. And then click minus one. So they've disappeared. But to get them back, you want to go to coordinates. No, yeah, coordinates. And then put minus 90. No. Oh, what the? Whoa. No, I don't. <laughs> I think it's the middle one, actually. Hmm. Two seconds, I will be right back. Hello, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. Um, all you want to do is want to get fuller and click linear. You always get a bunch of settings, just leave it as you can see, kind of back. But you want to go to coordinates and then the first one minus 90. As you can see there, slightly back. Oh. My edit of you is lagging quite a bit. Don't know why actually. But as you can see, render it. There you go. And you wanna on one of the plane effectors, go to fall off and click invert. And then on the other one, I just leave it. So then. Fly it, set the effectors and then move it across. Right, if I just invert that one and then uninvert that one. When I. Oh. Selecting both of the effectors, or the group. Wow, well, what am I doing? There we go, moving across. So you get that. Um, I just put it in the middle. Oh, why is. I don't know why it's lagging so much. It doesn't usually. So I'll maybe put this back to. Uh, 720. Might make a difference. No, it doesn't. So, I'll have just have to deal with the lag, but as you can see, it's not that good, so you want to select both of them. I'm going into MoGraph Effect and then Random. And then it's all messed up, so you just want to go to um, Fall Off and select Sphere. Um, sphere. And then you want to go to effector, no, parameter, and then put random numbers. I'm just going to put 500 for each. Which it makes them go really random. Oh, I won't put 500, I'll put 300. So, <coughs> and rotation, I just put 90. So then, um, what you want to do is just put this into there, and then you want to go to selecting both the texts, go to MoGraph, Effector, Delay Effector, well, Delay, and then on the Delay you want to go to Fall Off, no, not, no, you don't, no, you want to, uh, Effector, and then put spring. So now, if I just keyframe.